Hi friends, good evening to everyone. Welcome to my channel, Bregley's class, Bregley's class. My friends, after the completion of MCQ examples, questions, multiple choice questions on trigonometry, taking four videos, four classes on trigonometry, uh, then I started with coordinate geometry, my friends. I have done one video, means one class for MCQs on coordinate geometry. I have done those examples based on earlier the basic, what do you mean by basic? Coordinates of a point, x coordinate, y coordinate, point on x axis, point on y axis. All these are the basics, coordinates of the origin. Mean all these are the basics, my friends. I have done some examples on these basics. After that, Next, I have done some examples with distance formula. Distance between two points and distance of the point from the origin. Another point is the origin and another po one point is any point, another point is the origin. Given those formulae, I have done some varieties of examples on distance formula. Huh? Those things, my friends, are completed. Nearly 15, 20 examples of that I have done. That is on one video. Today, I am going to do another video, continuation of all, the same coordinate geometry. What is left, my friends? Section formula. With the help of the section formula, you get midpoint formula. Huh? Midpoint formula. Then, area formula. These are the three formulae left. One is section formula. Making use of the section formula, you can deduce or midpoint formula, examples on midpoint formula, examples on section formula. After the these two formulae, the next formula is area formula, area of the triangle, area of the triangle uh, by making use of what coordinate geometry. That formula is there, then we will do examples. Therefore, my friends, uh, if you see the model question papers, more examples are on Midpoint formula. What is the reason? Very simple. Very simple formula. Straight formula. Direct formula. Therefore, examples, examiner likes to give out more number of examples on more chances in giving the examples on midpoint formula. Then, section formula that is slightly lengthy, you know it. Uh, that formula takes little more time comparing with midpoint formula. Therefore, my friends, instead of doing MCQ examples, first section, then midpoint, I will interchange them. First, I do the examples on midpoint formula. After doing the examples on midpoint, then I will do examples of section. While doing the section formula, I do very few examples, very few examples. After the completion of these two, midpoint as well as what section, the last will be the area formula. With the area formula, one or two examples of Centroid, centroid of a triangle, my friends. Centroid of a triangle. Uh, this is the plan in this video. That will take around uh, 50 minutes, my friends. 45 to 50 minutes. I will complete this. I will complete this with this video. Uh, if I complete examples on centroid, that centroid itself tells uh, the examples of coordinate geometry. Taking two videos will be completed. And on coordinate geometry study itself, I, I told four examples in the model question paper one given by the SSLC board and four examples in the model question paper given by the board, second model question papers. Yes, my friends. Then we can expect four examples on coordinate geometry, whereas in trigonometry, five examples, five questions, MCQs, coordinate geometry is four. Yes, my friends. I told first, I give. I do the examples on midpoint formula. First, I give the formula, then I do examples on midpoint formula. My friends, remember hmm, 60 minutes, 40 questions. <coughs> then, for each MCQ, you may have one minute, little more. But if you verify after completion of what your question paper, it needs, it takes time. Even you have to go for what? 10 minutes reserve. 
Ah, uh, 60 minus 10 means 15 minutes. 40 questions, 50 minutes. Almost for one minute, you must do one question. Then your approach must be time saving, my friends. Each second is very important. Uh, if you save in doing any example, like what, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds, that will count a lot because 40 into uh, 3 seconds or 4 seconds, that will be 2 minutes, 3 minutes. In 2 minutes, 3 minutes, we can able to do what? Another 2 or 3 examples more. Therefore, <coughs> you must be very calculative in doing these MCQ questions, my friends. Yes. Now I will start with I will start with coordinates. Yes, I have written everything, my friends. SSLC 10th maths class. Uh, it is during what? 2020-21 exam. I am doing multiple choice questions. They are MCQ. Multiple choice questions on coordinate geometry. This zero to indicates, my friend. It is a second class on geometry zero. Then uh, this is the formula, midpoint formula. Coordinates of midpoint of a line segment joining the points A, x1, y1, and B, x2, y2 is given by midpoint of AB, midpoint of the line segment AB is x1 plus x2 upon 2, comma y1 plus y2 upon 2. In straight way, what is this, my friend? Ah, it is sum of sum of x coordinates. Uh, sum of x coordinates x coordinates upon 2 and what is this? Ah, it is sum of y coordinates my friends upon 2. Just you have to add the x coordinates divided by 2 and y coordinates divided by 2. This my friends. A, B. What are the coordinates? x1, y1. What are the coordinates? x2, y2. Then what is the midpoint of AB? Add x coordinates divided by 2 and y coordinates divided by 2. This is the formula, my friends. Very simple formula. Therefore, you have a more chance of having examples on midpoint formula. Why? Simple, straight. Simple, straight. Huh? Yes, my friends. These are the examples. These are the examples. First examples. Coordinates of a midpoint of a line joining the points 6, 2, 6, 2, 4, 4 is dash. Uh, these are the options, my friends. 3, 5, 5, 3, 10, 6, minus 5, minus 3. Yes, my friend. Uh, midpoint formula. Add x coordinates. 6 plus 4 is 10 divided by 2. What is 10 divided by 2? 5. See, look at this. Uh, this is the only one option, my friend. This is the only one option with x coordinate 5. Then don't go for what? Don't spend your time in, in finding what? Y coordinate. This is time saving. Understood, my friends? Even don't write 5. 10 by 2 is what? 5. Wherever that 5 is there, you mark this B with a enclosed circles, my friends. Enclosed circles. This is B. This is B. Enclosed circles. Yes, my friend, this is first question. Next. Uh, I, I have done here. Yes, I have written everything. Uh, this is 10 by 6. What is y coordinates? 2 plus 4, 6 by 2, 5 3. Again, writing 6 by 2, 5 3 takes time. I told importance of 1 second, 2 seconds importance. I, I told uh, for every class I am uh, telling what the importance of time saving. This is time saving. Marking is very important. Where mark, my friends? Second question. Midpoint of the line joining these two points. These two points. Huh? 2, 4 minus 2, 6. Anyway, what is the x coordinate in 0? 0 is your answer. These two, my friends. These two, gone. It is not 0. It is gone. Uh, in these two, the next is what deciding will be y coordinates. What is y coordinates? This is 4 plus 6, 10. 10 divided by 2 is what? 5. 
No, without writing any anything on the paper, uh, everything will be time saving itself. So, direct answer is what, my friend? A. A. This is zero. Ten by two is what? Five. Therefore, your option is what? First option. I hope understood. Understood. What I told. Uh, two minus two is zero. X coordinate is zero. It is there in the two options, first and second option. Then correct answer will be with y coordinate. How to find the y coordinates? Four plus six and ten divided by two five. This will be your answer. Your answer. A. A. Third one. Midpoint of the line joining the points minus two comma a. Minus six minus four minus two comma eight minus six minus four. Yes, midpoint. Huh? These are the options. Minus four minus six two six. Minus four two four comma two four comma. Two. Minus two minus six means minus eight divided by two is minus four. Minus four. You have two options, my friends. Uh, this is not your answer. Cancel it. Five minus four. Those two gone. You are left with only two. Only two. Among the two, it will be deciding with what y coordinates. Now, what is the y coordinates? Eight minus four. Eight minus four means what? It is plus four. Plus four divided by two is two. The C will be your answer. C will be your answer. Yes, I will write C. C. Ah, uh, this is minus four. This is plus two. This is. Minus four plus two. That will be the answer. Same type, my friends. These two examples. These two examples. You try yourself. This example, they will give such examples, so my friends. Why these are simple, direct questions? See, two four minus two minus four. Eight. What about these two? Their their coordinates are what? Opposite sides. Opposite sides. Plus minus. Same coordinates with plus minus means. What is your answer? Zero zero. Direct. This your brain must be set with such things. When immediately you must catch and mark it. Zero zero. Zero zero. Yes, my friends. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. These two questions. Do it. This fourth. Sometimes my friends they will ask the formula. Formula itself will be your MCQ. MCQ. Many times I have seen question papers, my friends. Many times his examiners will give what theory part itself, theorems, theorems. Yesterday, uh, last that trigonometry example is what I told. A special example. What is it? Name, name the ratio. Huh? Give us what opposite side upon adjacent side. Name the ratio. Opposite upon adjacent is what tan, tan. Four options are given. Like that, my friends, sometimes they go with very, very simple examples. It is directly formula, directly formula. Midpoint of the line joining a x1 y1 plus and b x2 y2. What is the formula? And the formula is what? Add x coordinates to the point. Add x coordinates to the point. Enough, it is enough. Huh? No need of writing more this y coordinates. Sum of x coordinates is it sum? No. What about this? Sum of x coordinates. This is no. Cancel it first. Don't keep it. This is this is what? Sum of x coordinates divided by two. This is correct. This is sum of y coordinates divided by two. Then this will be your option. What is that option? B. B. Sum of that is why I have written down sum of x coordinates. Is it sum of x coordinates? No. This is sum of x coordinates. Next, sum of y coordinates. If you say yes, pass to the next. What about this difference? No. Uh, even though they give here plus, but no, it is not at all a formula. So the answer is what? The answer is what? This is the process, my friends, method of answering for all MCQ examples. MCQ examples. Yes. And these are very very simple examples, my friends. I do. Another set, another set. Just look at it. Look at it. One minute, see. One minute, see. Yeah. 
Yes, my friends. I have written one small, small note here. What do you mean by note? It is a small result where we use it. We use it. You know the midpoint formula. Huh? Sum of x coordinates divided by 2, sum of y coordinates divided by 2. That is midpoint of a line joining, uh, you know that length is uh, this, that. If the coordinates of the midpoint AB are alpha, beta, if the coordinates of AB, if the coordinates of midpoint of AB are alpha, beta, then uh, you are writing this is alpha, this is beta, then these coordinates are same. My friends, uh, in case of all, uh, this coordinate symmetry, if xy coordinate xy equal to what coordinate ab coordinate ab means what these two coordinates are equal only when x coordinate equal to x coordinate and y coordinate equal to y coordinate this implies uh, x coordinate equal to x coordinate and y coordinate equal to y coordinate if these coordinates are equal you can write in the terms of what order to order to. then this alpha x1 plus x2 by 2, this beta y1 plus y2 by 2. Then, then if the coordinates of the midpoint, you know, uh, what is the x coordinate of the midpoint? If the, these are what? In terms of the points, this, huh? you have to add the x coordinates of the points divided by 2, add the y coordinates of the point divided by 2. Direct, my friends, direct. Uh, making use of this, there is one example here. Huh? One example, what is it? Uh, it is if p x by 3 comma 4 is the midpoint of the line joining the points q minus 6 5 minus 2 3 then the value of x is dash no need of writing alpha beta like that uh, you wanted uh, to write what uh, limited time time saving uh, approach approach what is time saving if you need, you can draw this figure, otherwise, you know why. X coordinate, X coordinate of the midpoint equal to add X coordinates of the ends minus 6 minus 2 upon 2. You can write direct without, without this figure. If you wanted reference, reference, draw it, that doesn't take much time. You must be quick also. Uh, P is the midpoint of QR, then the value of X. X by 3 equal to add X coordinates divided by 2. Minus 8 by 2 is minus 4, then what is the value of x? 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. Don't write minus 12, but that takes time. At least 1 or 2 seconds it takes. If you are a slow writer, even it takes more, more than 2 seconds. Therefore, your answer is what, my friend? Uh, 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. Now I write minus 12. Is the answer. Making use of the same concept. Uh, this is the next example. If origin is the midpoint, if origin is the midpoint of the line joining the points A, B, then the values of A and B, you have to write both X and Y coordinates here, values of A and B. See here, A, uh, 4 minus 6, B, A comma B, uh, origin is the midpoint, origin means what? 0, 0. Then, I have to go for what? Sum divided by 2 is x coordinate of the origin. Uh, y coordinates. Sum of y coordinates divided by 2 is what? Y coordinate of the point. See here. This is uh, 4 plus a by 2 is 0. 4 plus a is 0. What is the value of a? Minus 4. Compare my friends. When origin is the origin, when origin is the midpoint, directly you can write the answer. These are, these are what? A, B here, what is the value of A? Opposite sign. Value of A, the same number with opposite sign. Then what is the value of B? The same number with opposite sign. What is the opposite sign of minus plus 6? Direct we can write. This is a time saving my friends. Huh? And origin is, origin is the midpoint in that case. To find the unknowns, unknowns. What is the value of this A? Here, just to change the sign of the number, what is B? Change the sign of the number. A is minus 4, B is plus 6. B is plus 6. Then which option is the answer? A is minus 4, B is plus 6. Plus 6. B is the answer, my friend. B is the answer. Next one. 
If 2a plus 1 comma 3 is the midpoint of the line joining the points 1 comma 4 and 9 comma 2, then the value of a is as a is the unknown here. A is the unknown. Then the value of a is that. Same thing. If you want reference, the Prahagarga is direct. Now what is this? This is the midpoint. 2a plus 1 equal to add x coordinates. Add x coordinates divided by 2. No need of writing y coordinates. Pi, my friend. You wanted A. Where is A? A is in the x coordinate, my friends. B it is free from unknown. Don't take. Your, your unknown A is in the x coordinates. x coordinate of the midpoint equal to sum of x coordinates of the points divided by 2. Same everything. Huh? It is what? 2A plus 1 equal to 9 plus 1 by 2. What is 9 plus 1 by 2 is 5. What is the value of 2A? 5 minus 1 is 4. Then what is A? 2. Mark. A is 2. A is 2. This is option C. A is 2. Option C. So that note helps my friends x coordinate from midpoint equal to what? Sum of x coordinates of the end points divided by 2. y coordinate of the midpoint equal to sum of y coordinates of end points divided by 2. Remember, uh, that node definitely helps in these cases and in these cases. No need of writing y coordinate. Why? A is there in the x coordinate. No need x is in the x coordinates. If the origin is just to change, change. What is A? opposite side. What is B? Opposite side. So, it is minus 4 plus 6. B is the answer. Here C is the answer. In this case, minus 12, my friend. Uh, it is what? 3 into minus 4 is minus 12. That will be option B. Option B. Oh, my friends. Okay. Okay. I do another example. So set. Set. Just see. Now, these are Three, four examples of the same type, same type, same type. <coughs> yes, my friends. Uh, I have taken another geometrical figure. Uh, that geometrical figure is circle. What about A and B? They are the ends of the diameter. Ends of the diameter. What is C? Center of the circle. And what is the result? Center of the circle is the midpoint. Midpoint of the Diameter AB, midpoint of the diameter AB. Then, coordinates of the midpoint, midpoint of A and B, same as what? Coordinates of C. Then, x coordinate of center equal to add x coordinates of ends divided by 2, y coordinate of the center equal to add y coordinates of the ends divided by 2. I will do the same thing here. Note. Center of a circle is the midpoint of its diameter. Therefore, in the figure, C is the midpoint of AB. Ah, if your C is what? Alpha comma beta. Alpha comma beta. You know this. What is it? Ah, x1 plus ah, x2 upon 2. Ah, it is y1 plus y2 upon 2. Then, what is your ah, x coordinate of the center C alpha is what? Add x coordinates of the ends divided by 2, beta is 1. Add y coordinates divided by 2. Now, my friends, making use of this, I do some 2 3 examples. Why I am explaining all these things? If you know this result concept clearly, that will help you in doing the examples. Now, this is my concept, my friends, my concept. Therefore, I explained in the beginning before doing the examples about your friend circle. Circle means what? Diameter, center, radius, circumference, all those things you know my friend. Circle you have studied, circle you have studied. Therefore, center of the circle is the midpoint, midpoint of what? Diameter. Therefore, uh, coordinates of the center equal to what? You have to use midpoint formula for midpoint of what? AB, midpoint of diameter. Yes. Now, my friend, see here. This is one example. The coordinates of A 
where AB is the diameter of the circle with center at 2 minus 3 and B coordinates of B are 1, 3 is that you wanted coordinates of A. You wanted the coordinates of A. This is your main hero. Main hero. Coordinates of A. What are the given things? Center is given and one end is given. You wanted to find the other end. See here. This is AB. What is given, my friend? AB is the diameter given. In which one end is given B. What is it? 1, 4. What is given? Center is given. What is it? C. 2 minus 3. Then you wanted A. Unknown. Take X, 1. Take X, 1. Then I explained here. Alpha. X1 plus X2 by 2. Yes. Yes. X1, X1 plus X2 by 2 is your alpha. And Y1 plus Y2 by 2 is your beta. Yes. X1. X plus 1 divided by 2 equal to 2. And Y plus 4 upon 2 equal to minus 3. Ah, take this. This is X plus 1 by 2 equal to 2. X plus 1 is 4. What is the value of X? 3. Value of X is 3. 3 is there in the first option and third option. Now this is not the answer. This is not the answer. Now we just have to check about what? Huh? Y coordinate. Y coordinate. Yes. What is this? Y plus 4 upon 2 is minus 3. These are even numbers. Minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 will be your option. Therefore, my friend, which option is your answer? C. Without writing, you must answer. Whether it is minus 9 or minus 10. Yes, C. Huh? This is y plus 4 upon 2 is minus 3. Minus 6. Take that side. Minus 4. Minus 6 minus 4 is what? Minus 10. Therefore, C will be your option. Answer is C. Answer is C. Huh? Like that, another example is here, my friend. If ends of a diameter of a circle, otherwise I do this first. Line. If one end, one end of a diameter of a circle with center at 2 minus 3 is 1, 4, 1, 4. Then the other end of the diameter is what? Same, same example I have done already. This example, this example. Now this is the next example, my friends. So this example already. I have done here, same example. The way of giving is slightly different. The way of giving is slightly different. This example we have done there. Yes. Uh, this is the next example. If ends of diameter of a circle are, ends of diameter of a circle are, 4 comma 3 minus 2 comma minus 1 then center of the circle directly will put formula this is the very simple example you can expect my friend you can expect right ends of the diameter are given you want its center what is center huh? midpoint of AB therefore coordinates of the center is what midpoint midpoint of the AB what is midpoint 4 minus 2 upon 2 midpoint of AB 4 plus me minus 2 upon 2. 3 minus 1 upon 2 this. What is 4 minus 2? 2 I have written here. Time saving. Uh, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 minus 1 is 1. 2. 2 upon 2 is 1. Therefore, which option is the answer my friend? A. Just look out and close the circle my friends. This is this is yes here. A circle with center at the origin. A circle with center at the origin passes through this point. This point. Then radius is a dash. See. Circle with center at the origin. This is example number 11. A circle with center at the origin. Origin means what? Coordinates are 0, 0. And it passes through the point here A. What are the coordinates? 13 by 2, 0. Then 
what is the radius of the circle? Uh, this OA is radius. Huge distance formula. What is it? 13 by 2 minus theorem means 13 by 2 itself. Uh, square, 13 by 2 the whole square. Take the square root and which option is the answer, my friend? First option is the answer. Without writing, you can write. Find distance formula. This is 0. This is what? 13 by 2 minus 0 means it is 13 by 2 itself. Therefore, radius is the square root of 13 by 2 minus 0 means this. Plus 0 minus 0 is 0. Then what is the answer, my friend? 13 by 2. All these are bonus, my friends. Very simple examples in finding the center, in finding the radius. They purposely give which center has origin. Center has, they never give the coordinates. You must know the coordinates of the origin. Then uh, it becomes very, very simple. What is the radius? 13 upon 2, my friends. 13 upon 2. Then I give one example. That example you do at home. That is slightly, slightly little, uh, little lengthy if you do it. Otherwise, it is simple also. Yes, my friend. If A two comma three B A five A comma five C four comma one and D D two comma B are the vertices of a parallelogram are the vertices vertices of a parallelogram I write in a symbol parallelogram then the values of A and B values of A and B are Yes, I write here. First option. First option is A equal to 4, B is 9. Second option, uh, A is minus 4, B is minus 1. Third option, A is plus 4, B is minus 9. Fourth option, uh, this is 4. A is 4 and C is, B is minus 1. These are options. And it is a parallelogram, my friends. Parallelogram. Yes, figure. Parallelogram. These are the vertices. A is given. 2, 3. B is given. I is A, 5. C is given. 4, 1. B is given. What are the coordinates of B? 2, B. Yes, you know, my friends. In a parallelogram, bisect each other, diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals bisect each other means what? Midpoint of diagonal AC. Midpoint of diagonal AC is what? Midpoint of another diagonal. Midpoint of BD. Yes. Use midpoint formula. Equate this equal to that to get the values of the This part. I will leave to you now. Therefore, I mentioned this as well. Do it yourselves. Do it yourselves. This correct? Midpoint of AC, what is it? Uh, midpoint of AC. AC. Yes. Uh, it is 6 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2. Means you get 6 divided by 2, means it is 3. Uh, 3 plus 1 divided by 2 means it is 2 equal to. Next is this. A plus 2 by 2. Next is B plus 5 by 2. Yes, my friend. If you equate what? This equal to this, you get it. That equal to that, you get it. That part, my friends, you do at home. Means it is 
exercise, exercise. These are nearly one dozen, one dozen examples I have selected, I have chosen for what? Based on midpoint formula, my friends. Midpoint formula. Here is also one. Diagonals bisect each other means what? Midpoint. Midpoint of the diagonal AC equal to midpoint of the diagonal BD. Diagonal BD. Again, midpoint formula. Huh? In this case, my friend, here, what is the midpoint formula? All these examples, my friends, based on midpoint formula itself. Very important formula. I have done almost all varieties of examples on midpoint formula, my friends. Please prepare them. Prepare them. Next, I will go with what? Section formula. I, I don't want to do more examples there. Why tell? Examples are slightly lengthy. Slightly lengthy. Some sample things I do in case of what? Section formula. Yes, my friends. First, I write section formula. Then I do some four examples, three, four examples on section formula. Yes, my friends. Yes. See there. Yes, my friends. Next is after the completion of what examples on midpoint formula. Midpoint formula. Now I consider the examples on section formula. Section formula. First I give that formula. Coordinates of a point P which divides the line segment joining the points A, X1, Y1, B, X2, Y2 in the ratio m is to n in the ratio m is to n is given as mx2 plus nx1 upon n plus n m y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n, n plus n. it is a easy to remember my friends yes ah uh, this is your a b this is b ah uh, its coordinates are what x2 y2 ah uh, this is a my friend its coordinates are x1, y1. Uh, there is a point of P which divides this in the ratio m is to n. Then how to remember? m, x2 first, the second coordinates. m, x2 plus n, x1 upon m plus n. Action of these two. First, this cross. m, x2 plus n, x1 m x1 upon m plus n. What is next? Huh? m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n. Yes. Otherwise, even you can remember like this also. Like this also. Mm, this is your point P. Huh? This is A. Huh? This is uh, the ratio is what m is to n. This is your point A. Are x1, y1. This is point B. Its coordinates are x2, y1. Yes. Now then the ratio is what? M is to n. This first, this my friend. Mx2 first this. Then this. Mx2. Then Nx1 here. First Mx2 plus Nx1 upon m plus n, m y2 plus n y1 upon m plus n. This you can remember in this way also, in this way also. Or this, cross, first, second, first, first with second, second with first, same, mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n, m y2 plus m y2 plus n y1 upon n plus n. This, my friends. This is section formula. You have to buy out this formula also. Sometimes the friend examiner will ask what? The formula itself for what? MCQ. Changing here. Uh, they may give minus, minus here. Uh, they may give both plus denominator is minus. They change something. They start with m x1 plus n x2 upon m plus n from four four options they create one among the four one is correct answer yes my friends now i do examples examples 
the point which divides the line joining the points point which divides the line joining the points minus 1 comma 7 and 4 comma minus 3 in the ratio of 2 is to 3 lies in the quadrant and they have not asked the coordinates of the point that point lies in the quadrant through that even the examiner wanted to test uh, in which quadrant that point lies you must have a knowledge of form even quadrants uh, different the signs signs convention of form points in the different quadrants that also you must know yes my friend small figure is needed a b p m is to m first uh, coordinates of p p equal to m x2 first this side second first m x2 a2 a2 plus n x1 uh, 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 upon m plus m then m y2 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 plus plus 3 into 7 is plus 21 upon m plus m is 5 8 minus 3 is 5 upon 5 what is this 15 upon 5 is what 3 therefore what about this anyway don't write 1 3 what is this positive what is that positive then both x and y coordinates are positive when both x and y coordinates are positive which quadrant my friends these are the quadrants here x is positive here plus huh? y is above is positive here then this is which quadrant my friend that is first quadrant first quadrant both positive two both both the positive in the first quadrant, my friends. You see, I've explained all these things in the yesterday's class. Yesterday's class. The same parallel example I've given it as what? DIY. The point which divides the line joining the points minus 5, comma 2, 9, comma minus 4 in the ratio 2 is to 3 lies in the quadrant. First, second, third, fourth. See, this is DIY. Yes, this is second example. The coordinates of a point which divides the here the friend wanted coordinates. Coordinates of a point which divides the line joining the points A 0 0 B 5 10 in the ratio 2 is to 3 is that coordinates of the points the friend is asked. See, like this man, they give simple coordinates, origin, and which contain some simple things. Yes. Yes, tell my friend. Zero zero. What is this end? And uh, this end is five comma ten b. First ratio, second ratio. M x two, m x two ten. Uh, in this case, both are zeros means there is no second value. When both are zeros, don't try with this. Two into five divided by two plus five, and uh, it is what? It is what? Uh, 2 into 10, 20 divided by 2 plus 5. What is this, my friend? Directly 2. This is 4, 2 comma 4. They ask such simple examples. These examples are called as what? Simple examples, direct answer. Direct answer. See the difference here. <coughs> See the difference. This. Giving this as 0, 0. The example, the same example, made it simple. Made it simple. Actually, you can write directly what is it? Uh, 10 divided by 5, this is 20 divided by 5. 10 divided by 5 is 4, 2, and 20 divided by 5 is 4. 2, comma 4 is the answer. Intelligent student doesn't write everything. Anything here itself, 10 divided by 5. And this is 20 divided by 5. No need of all writing this. PSR means you have to write directly what is this? 2 into 5 is 10. Upon 2 plus 5 is 3 is 5. Comma. Ah, what is this? 2 into uh, 20 divided by 5. What is it? 2. What is this? 4. Ah, with a 2, this is the only one option, my friend. See, with a 2, this is the only one option. If you write this, don't go for what? The y coordinate. Ah, if the x coordinate is only 1, ah, that is 2. 10 by 5. Two, mark the first option. 
don't try to find what in the second order. I hope it's clear in my friends. Now there is one more example. If the point x comma zero divides the line joining the points minus eight comma zero and four comma zero in the ratio two to one, then the value of x is. It is also simple. See the given first contains zero, second also contains zero. Therefore, the example becomes quite simple. Quite simple. Then the value of x is. These are the options. One, two, three, one, two, four. Last option is zero. C. A. This is B. This is P. What are the coordinates of P? X comma Q. What is X? X coordinate equal to what? Right? What only X coordinates? Huh? M X two. M X two is A. Plus M X one. M X one. This is. Plus eight. N x one. N x one is what? Minus eight. Plus eight minus eight is what? Zero. Then which option is the correct answer? D option, my friend. D option is the correct answer. D. Like this, they they give simple examples, my friends. Especially this year, ah, uh, that Corona question paper is also what? Hmm. We we this one simple direct. Corona effect, my friends. Therefore, these these are good examples. Good examples. Okay. These are uh, three and one is for what DIY. These four examples are selected on what section formula. Section formula, my friends. And the last formula is what area formula. Area formula. Yes, my friends. Now next is area formula. Look at it. Look at it. Yes, my friends. Ah, uh, the last is area formula. Area formula. Ah, uh, this is the area formula. Area formula. You know the formula also. Ah, uh, the area of the triangle ABC with vertices A, x1, y1, B, x2, y2, and C, x3, y3 is given by given by this, my friend. Area of the triangle ABC equal to X one into y two minus y three plus x two into y three minus y one plus x three into y one minus y two. Ah, uh, this is easy to remember, my friends. C. X one, x two, x three. There are the x coordinates. Always they are uh, outside. Outside. What about this bracket? There are the difference of y coordinates. Difference of y coordinates. If you start with first here, x one. You have to leave that always. Next is what? Y two minus y three. Then after x one, next comes x two. You have to start with next next difference of next y coordinates. Next y coordinates. Y three minus y one plus the x three into leave it. Next difference of y coordinates. Y one minus y. Otherwise, you can write simple. No, a is write simply. X into y minus y plus x into y minus y plus x into y minus y. Here you start writing one, uh, two, three. Next two, three, one. Next three, one, two. My friends, this uh, numbers one, two, three. You have to rotate slightly. One, two, three, two, three, one, three, one. Two. Like this, three one. Now uh, either you can remember like this, otherwise triangle this. Otherwise, note right x into y minus y like this. Then you go on one two three continuous numbers. Two after two is what? Three after three one three minus one. Three after three is what? One. Next is two one minus two like this. And this is one more. It is also very very simple, my friends. 
no need of remembering all these things. No need. Area A equal to half. First, you have to write the coordinates of the first vertex or any vertex. But you must move slightly. Coordinates of the first means A. Next, you must come B only, not C. B only. A, B, C, A. Like this. Coordinates of A, coordinates of B, coordinates of C, coordinates of A. Beginning and closing must be with the same, same coordinates. If you start with A, next B, next C, next A. If you start with B, coordinates of B, B, C, A, B. Like this. If you start with C, C, after C is what? A, after A, B, then C. Beginning and closing must be the same coordinates. After writing this, when you have to come down, come down first. This is half into come down. x1, y2, multiply these two. x1, y2, plus x2, y3, plus x3, y1. See this figure. After writing this, you have to come down one step down. x1, y2, plus x2, y3, plus x3, y1, minus, you have to go up. Up. x1 y3 plus x3 y2 plus x2 y1 this bracket my friend this bracket first is what come down x1 y2 x2 y3 plus x3 y1 this bracket minus go up <coughs> x1 y3 plus x3 y2 plus x2 y1 this bracket this also can give the same huh? I do first example by both of the things by both of them, just verify whether you get the correct answer or not, same answer or not. Then, adopt, if you like this, you can go for this. If you adopt, if you like this, you can go for this method. Yes, my friends, example is here. First example, the area of the triangle with vertices A, 3, 0, B, 7, 0, C, 8, 0, each dash. These are the options. Option A, 14 square units. B, 28 square units. C, 8 square units. D, 6 square units. 6 square units. Yes, my friends. Yes, my friends. First, half into. Huh? I write that first formula. 3 into jump. 0 minus 4. Plus second, 7 into jump. 4 minus 0 plus <coughs> 8 into jump. 0 minus 0. 0 minus 0 is what? 0 itself. The area of the triangle with these vertices, I am applying the first half into x1, y2 minus y3 plus x2, y3 minus y1 plus x3, y1 minus y2. Y1 minus y2. Simplify. Half into 3 into minus 4 plus 7 into 4, 28. This is 0 itself. Plus 16, 8 square units. Option C is the answer. Option C is the answer. This is with above regular method. This is with a, I, I tell, I am saying what it is a time saving. Uh, it is a time saving. I do not know whether it is time saving, it is. You have to decide it. See, friend, A I equal to half into first A, right the coordinates 3, 0, second, 7, 0, third, 8, 0. Closing must be same with first. Half into come down, 0, don't write. 28, write. 0, don't write. Minus, go up, 12, 12. 0, don't write, 0, don't write. What is 28 minus 12? 16 upon 8 is, 16 upon 2 is 8 square units. You have to decide which you like. But remember, my friends, these are MCQs. Huh? Nobody looks at your methods. They look at what? Getting the correct answer quickly. That is very important. I want to save the time and you want to get correct answer. That is very important. See my friends, whether you adopt this method or this method, in both the methods, the answer is same. Answer is same. You can go to the limit. Next is this. 
area of the triangle which vertex is 11 2 comma 1 1 comma 2 these are the options is that 3 by 2 square units 1 by 2 square units 2 square units 1 square units normally mcqs my friends they consider simple simple coordinates coordinates area half write the coordinates of the first vertex second vertex third vertex first vertex half into come down 1 into 1 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 minus go up 1 into 2 Plus one into one plus two into one. This is six minus five. Six minus five is what? Mark what? One by two. This is one by two square. Let's see the answer. B. B. Ah, uh, if you wanted, I write one more. That you can do it. Huh? Yourselves. Do it yourselves. Okay. This is do it yourselves. I write simply the coordinates A. Minus one comma zero. C is two minus. I hope that different. This is different. This is different. This is different. This my friends find the area with these points. These points. Then I do. Uh, if the area of the triangle is zero, that result already you know it. One minute C. Then I do examples. One minute C. One minute C. If the area of the triangle is zero, ah, uh, if the area of the triangle is zero, when the area is zero, my friends, ah, uh, when the area is zero, when the area is zero means what? This vertex A will will what? Coincide or lies on the same line, my friends. Ah, uh, when the area of the triangle is zero. Then uh, the vertices, vertices are uh, concurrent. Means they lie on the same line, collinear. They lie on the same line. Therefore, uh, if the area of a triangle is zero, right? Uh, uh, no. The area, the area of the triangle ABC is zero. Then, then, on the vertices means the points ABC are collinear. ABC are collinear. Conversely, if the points are collinear, if the points A, B, C are collinear, are collinear, then the area of the triangle A, B, C is zero. Then area. Triangle ABC. Now I do some two three examples based on this result, my friends. Collinear result. What is that collinear? If the points are collinear, then the area by these points, area by these points, area of the triangle by these points is here. The area of the triangle is here. 
Uh, my friends, now I do some two or three examples on this result now, this result. Yes, my friend. Yes, my friend. Yes, friends. I told if the area, if the area of the triangle is zero, then the vertices lie on the same line, then we can say that uh, they are collinear, they are collinear. Therefore, the condition for the three points, the condition for the three points A comma B comma C are collinear is that area formed by these points each year. Area formed by these points is zero. That is area of the triangle ABC is zero. Now, my friends, then you have some uh, three, four examples. Those three, four examples I do it in the next means, next video, next video, along with some examples on heights and distances, my friends. Some three, four examples, heights and distances, and some two, three, or three, four examples on this. Huh? I do it in the next video that consists of trigonometry as well as coordinates of the different types, coordinates of it. multiple choice questions, multiple choice questions. Yes, my friends, uh, today then it is enough, it is enough, okay, thank you very much, bye, goodbye, namaste, namaskara, my friends, namaste, good day, my friends.